Hi there, my name is Ava and welcome back to Green Hell. Today I am in a an unknown part of the map. I'm around here somewhere. I'm heading east because we just found a camp that was about here. And there was a map drawn by a little girl that kind of indicated that there was an airplane or something to the east of the camp. So that's where we're heading. Um, not really sure what to f expect, what I'm going to find, if I'm going to make it. But uh, we'll see in due time. So I'm almost at the end of the map. I believe. Am I still going east? Yeah. Is this the end? Maybe. Oh, looky here. This is interesting. I need water, like food, like real bad though. Okay, eat. What is this? place to save because I'm about to die. I'm just going to quickly look for a place to save and then we'll explore. So I've managed to get rid of my parasites but as you can see I have found myself back at the anaconda camp so now I just need to make it back east to where we were it was like a kind of like an airport looking thing um where i kind of panicked and had to run off to try not to die which i did many times by the way it was a long process to get rid of those parasites but anyway i'm back so let's just keep going i've also got lots of food from the backpacks that i had uh left behind last time so i should be good for food in case i do get parasites again because i'm finding it hard to get a source of clean water Luckily, I got a tortoise shell, so if it rains, uh, not if it rains, when it rains, I'll be able to collect some water to drink. But every now and again, you'll go through a dry, like a dry season almost, and it doesn't rain for days and days and days and days, and then what are you supposed to do? Just get parasites, I guess. Or build a water collector. Oh, what's this? This is uh, not where I thought I was going. It's very industrial. A cenote. Oh, that means sink sinkhole. I only know that because uh, I've been to Mexico and we've been down many cenotes. You need to rest. You need to rest. Okay, I know. Okay. How do I make this food? <coughs> Climbing place. Required items. Climbing equipment. Ah. Let me mark this down. 28, 24. Oh, we're finally here. Okay, that took way too long. Got some meat. Okay, uh, there's the building. I'm just gonna go in quickly and save and then we can explore. I also might need to rest a little bit. Uh, actually I think I'm good on rest, but might snooze a bit so that we can get some daylight. And like an idiot, I lost my turtle shell. I don't remember where I put it down. Great! Great. Can't do anything to that. Let's 
get this water situation under control and then I can explore. Thirsty. Exploration always is hindered by survival in this game. Which really helps with the immersion factor because I can't just get lost exploring. I really have to pay attention to my nutrients and my water and everything. And there's always something that's going to bite you in the next, you know, around the next corner. So gotta, it keeps you on your toes, that's for sure. So I noticed that this rope or this uh, wire is cut. What does that say? Antenna. Hold to use. Oh. All right. Should do it. Did I just repair that with my magic fingers? <laughs> I didn't realize there was something in there that I could use that was broken. Alright, let's explore proper. So we got some tarps, this thing that's probably full of water, bag. What's this? House of cards. I can't read that. What does it say? Uh, plague incoming. Move from south. More from south. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Nothing on these shelves. I had similar shelves in my basement in my previous house. Uh, so this is probably what I fixed. Hello, can anyone hear me? I need help. Anyone, come in, please. I need help. Anyone, come in, please. No. Fucking hell! Well, don't break it. Copy, this is Manaus control tower. Over. There we go. You can hear me. You can really hear me? I need help. Affirmative. Keep calm now. I can hear you. You're going to be all right. Please give us your name and position. Over. This is Jake Higgins. I'm on a makeshift airstrip in the middle of the jungle. I'm not sure where exactly. Give him your coordinates. Copy it. That Jake Higgins? Again? <sighs> okay. I know where you are. Please hold. Over. Are you alone? Over. There's a girl with me. Mia. Copy. Is there a man with you? Over. Man. No. There's nobody else here. Are you still there? What do I do? Copy. Just stay where you are. Over. Will someone fly over? How long shall I wait? Keep calm and stay put. Help is on the way. Over and out. Hey, hey, you asked if I was alone. What did you mean? Answer, please. I beg you. Please, please answer me. I don't know what's going on. That? That's you banging on the radio like a dum dum. Mia, you're not gonna believe this. I found an airstrip, and the radio is working. Help is on the way. <laughs> At last. That was a strange conversation, though. They asked me if there was a man here. Any idea what all that was about? I'm just glad you're safe now. Right. And since I know how to get out of here, now I need to find you. Home. Well, we got a key. Oops. Mia, where are you? Please don't try to find me. You're safe. And that's all that matters. I completed my task. Now your job is to go home. Yeah, because Mia's probably dead. The only thing you will find here is disappointment. You don't need me anymore, Jake. It's time for me to go. Stay where you are and wait for help. No, no, Mia, talk to me. Where are you? Uh, 
Mia, please say something. I can't just abandon you. Mia, say something. Please. Mia, come on. It's time to go. I found a way out. Please. God damn it, say something. Damn. See what we got. Fuck, I don't understand a thing. I called for help and Mia just fuck. I'm supposed to go back without her? What happened? I'm not going to just leave her here. Where is she? Hmm. Find a way to get down to the cenote. Find Mia. Wait at the airstrip for help. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Need a nap. Okay. Let's just explore the rest of this uh, area. I don't know what the key is for. Maybe for this building? Or this shed? Bag of nuts? Ah, oh, yes, please. Is that a gun? Oh no, it was just the silhouette almost looked like a gun, like that would have been the handle and that's the barrel, you know. Obviously I don't know what I'm talking about. Is this another broken wire? Maybe. Big tank. What for? I don't know. Can I not go in here? There's a light on. Anybody home? Uh, can I climb this? No. Mia, come in, please. Oh, there's the key. Mia, come in, please. Are we just gonna keep doing this? God damn it, don't leave me. Please come in. Mia, are you there? I will keep looking for you anyway. Help is on the way. Come in. Please, Mia. Let it go, dude. Mia, come in, please. Is this like a never-ending loop? Help is on the way. Come in. Yeah, I think it's just... Looping. Looping the conversation options. Whoa. Good amount of leeches there, bud. That's my impression of a Canadian. Alright. Climbing equipment. Yes! Now I can go down to the cenote. What is all this? Oh, a map. Yes. A map? Yes! Yes, indeed! Wait. What? Does that not work? Oh! Yay! Okay. Read this note. What'd you say? What'd you say? Seat passengers. Okay. Higgins. Oh, I flew here. There's no Mia. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Is that, what is this? Don't know what that is. Uh, anything here I can grab? A letter. From Field Projects Department to Philip Smith. Subject. Samples. We remind you of the obligation to examine every unknown species of local fauna and flora. 
In the last transport, we only received a handful of samples of flora. So far, only 3% of the species present in this jungle have been tested for their feasibility. We expect you to increase the number of packages sent. The procedure remains unchanged. Collect two samples of each specimen. The first one is to be examined on site, and the other one is to be well secured, packed, described in detail, and then sent by plane. All data is to be included in the catalog. Sloppiness will not be tolerated. Um, Alvarez, report number eight. Sounds like this was Jake's camp. From the Delta camp. So far, I've determined that there are around six people on the island. At least one is a child. So I'm guessing these are refugees from the city. I watched them all day. It looks like they're unaware of our presence. For now, the group doesn't pose any threat to the mission. I suppose they feel safe on the island and are likely to stay there. I don't think they have any useful information, so there's no need for contact, but I'll keep an eye on them. End of report. Hmm. May I have to tell you something? Please, come in. Ah, uh, my walkie-talkie's dead. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. I feel like I've explored this area enough. And next time, we're going to go right down to the cenote, since I know where it is, and we have our climbing equipment. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're enjoying this series and want to see more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's all for today. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!